right, so I'm back home and uh, just wanted to give you guys a quick update video. I don't know if you can see, but my turtles are all basking, so that's pretty cool. Uh, it's good to see them enjoying the sun. In the time that I was gone, it was cold and now it's gotten warm enough that now everybody's basking and eating and there's even, even a little bit of mating going on and uh, I'm pretty stoked on that. So uh, it's been fun to kind of watch the cooters and the box turtles. Yeah. It's been fun to watch them run around and kind of do all the stuff that they do in the spring um, and basically kind of see this, kind of see this pond kind of come back to life. Let's uh, take a walk around and see how some of the other turtles are doing. I'm still working on the alligator snapping turtle pond. It's supposed to rain again for like the next five days. So it's just a, a big box of Yoohoo right now. So I'm just gonna kind of leave it and uh, I'm gonna drain it and then get a bunch of rocks and rock it in. And it's, it's pretty close to done. And then the rest of it's just gonna be landscaping. Um, but now I'm over here with the Russian tortoises. Oh my gosh, I hurt my knee on the airplane. Checking out the Russian tortoises. These guys are all just kind of running around and grazing on some grass and basking in the sun when the sun comes out. So we've got an old one right here. Good old Russian tortoise. I love these guys. Such cool, such cool tortoises. And it's funny because when I got home, I saw like two of them. And then I, it took a little bit of looking around to see the rest. And they had made these huge holes in the ground that go down about three feet. Um, they had just burrowed straight down to the ground and that's where they handled the winter so um, it's been good to kind of see them kind of come up and run around and doing their thing and maybe they'll start mating and I'll get some baby Russian tortoises this year I don't know I just I just want them to be happy and have fun we'll visit this other group of uh, Gulf Coast box turtles that I have see what they're up to oh yeah and then uh, I had a neighbor who, the same neighbor that the tree fell Got another tree that fell across my yard again. I'm not stoked on that. But I am stoked on these guys. So the gulfs are back out. Uh, they've been doing pretty much nothing but mating, which is, that's what happy box turtles do, right? They get out and they mate. So we'll come down here and say hello to the Asian tortoises. I uh, definitely got a new appreciation for the elongated tortoises after going to Thailand. Um, I, I wish I got to see some mountain tortoises, but they're extremely rare over there. Uh, the elongateds are definitely more common, but even even the the more common elongateds, they're they're rare over there. Um, that's why a lot of people bring them to the temples because they're hard to find, and you know the best way to put it is people are eating them. And uh, my elongateds in this corner right there and um but it gave me an idea for how to expand this habitat how to make this habitat better um, i'm actually going to come over here i'll go to this corner so i'm actually going to take this entire area here and i'm going to make a pond and then i'm also going to push that wall farther back and once that wall is farther back it's going to have more bamboo and this will be mountain tortoise elongated and then I'm gonna put my Heosemis grandis in here as well. And this way they have like the choice of, of water and land and uh, it'll be a good little habitat. There's my mountain tortoise. You can see my mountain tortoise and my dog. So I'll go over here. And um, this is the ugly tortoise barn. Right here is the uh, stock tank that has one of the alligator snappers in it. And uh, once the pond is finished, he'll be out of here and I'll be figuring out what I'm gonna do with this um, I don't know what do you do with a big stock tank once you take something big out of it put small stuff in it I don't, I don't know I'm not a big fan of stock tanks I'd rather have ponds but um, it never hurts to have a bunch I've actually got two um, the other one over there that's for uh, some Florida snapping turtles and I'm I think I'm gonna do what my friend Fred does and Fred actually takes some of these and he'll sink one into the ground and then make an elevated area and have another one in the ground and he does that for his Florida snappers and then that gives them kind of two different um, habitats to choose from they can kind of in one enclosure have two different little areas of water so I think I want to kind of replicate that but put my own little twist on it so I don't know if I'll do that with these two stock tanks or if I'll do it with that tub and then maybe another preformed pond but uh, just one more thing on the list of stuff to do. So let's go up here. 
Oh, the knee thing is killing me. The other cool thing this time of year is the uh, tree frogs are calling. So that's kind of cool. And some of my aquatic plants are starting to grow back, which I'm huge on aquatic plants. They're like super important for feeding stuff and for growing things like snails and uh, microorganisms that your ponds and your turtles need. This is the Mexican giant musk stock tank. And I've got some of, uh, some of this floating plants growing on it right now. And then over here is, uh, this is a Florida snapper stock tank, big waterland tub full of cooters. And then all of these other small ones, these are all plant grow out tubs. Some of these have mud turtles in them, um, loggerhead musks. So a lot of stuff going on. Waterland tub, there's a lot of action going on with the cooters. <laughs> yeah, cooters are going off right now. They're, they're just all mating, which is fantastic. I always like getting baby cooters each year if I can. So, and then uh, stop and say hi to this guy, even if he doesn't like it. Uh, Salcutta's doing good. He's back outside eating grass. <laughs> good to see him again. So thanks for watching this video. Just wanted to catch you guys up, uh, kind of show you what's going on. I'm gonna have a uh, Thailand recap video. I've got a lot of footage that I didn't use and uh, a lot of you have asked me different questions about my Thailand trip. So down in the comments, ask me some questions about uh, my Thailand trip and I'll answer them in the next video and give you a shout out. So thanks so much for watching this one. I'll catch you guys next time.